guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I am filming this earlier in the week, but it will go up on Black Friday. So as you're watching this, I am selling myself to the retail world, and I am probably hating my life right now at work while you're watching this video, but you're nice and cozy in bed, ready for me to show you my first ever K's Scented Melts Haul. Now, I have heard so many people talk about K's, and it was super intriguing to me because, okay, full disclaimer, this is boring. It's boring. And I know wax, you pop out of the clam, and you put it in the warmer, and it melts, and it goes away. But I like shapes, I like fun, I like glitter as much as people don't like glitter. I like all the fun. But anyway, what intrigued me about Kay's is she has so many single scent oils to order. And there's so many scents that I'm like, what would that smell like on its own? What would that smell like on its own? Kay's has that. And Kay's also offers customs in what are called um, her custom cuts. So they look like this, and these are 8-ounce bags. But if you order a 16-ounce bag, you don't get one giant bag. You actually get two 8-ounce bags. And they're basically like Rose Girls mini melters, like the little shapes. And you can get up to three cents combined. But what I hear about Kay's is her shipping is fast. I ordered this November 5th. It came to me two days later. Like, it was insane how fast it was. So on my invoice, it says, Thank you, Drew, for giving us a try. We appreciate it, and I hope you love everything. Carla. So Carla is the owner of Case. I'll leave her Facebook group down below. She is available for ready to ship every day of the year, and then her customs are also available. And like I said, her customs, they ship almost instantly. So the first thing I will start with is the samples. So there were quite a bit of samples in the bag. And her labels are like those little Avery labels, like pretty plain. But anyway, the first sample I have is in Rustic Fall. Cranberry Oak, Nutmeg, and Spice. I definitely pick up on the cranberry. It's like a very tart cranberry. The oak wood makes it just a teeny bit nutty and roasty toasty and I really I get some apple in here I don't know if it's like just a blend or what this is really really nice and it's like a little acorn shape really really like that one next I have a little sheep and it is in headache soother and I don't have a headache now but like I'm like a little congested and this is like just like a typical like a menthol -y Vicks vapor rub type of blend it's not super strong like some vendors where it's like, oh my god, knock you out of the house. But it's really good, so I'm excited to try that. Next, I have Blackberry. Just plain old Blackberry in like a little bunt shape. And this is really juicy. I literally feel like you could squeeze this out of the bag and you'd get juice. Crazy. I, I, I can't believe how juicy this scent is. It's incredible. There's a lot of samples in here, which I really, really appreciate. Next, we have this adorable little squirrel, and it is in Tobacco Vanille, which is a dupe for the Tom Ford fragrance. It doesn't necessarily smell exactly like it. To me, I get a little bit more smokiness. The perfume itself is really, really, really strong. I don't feel like this is as powerful, but it's really nice. I like how I like how the tobacco and the vanilla mixed together just makes it really sweet and creamy. A truck always has to drive by every time I make a video. Then we have a little gingerbread man in Cabin in the Woods, which is White Pumpkin and Amber Fireside. Or White Pumpkin, Amber, and Fireside. This is interesting. I definitely pick up on White Pumpkin, which is a Bath and Body Works dupe. And the Fireside, which is like one of my all-time favorite fragrances. I love Fireside the Candle. It's just so smoky and hearthy, and you get like the chill in the air. It's really, really nice. Mixed with the creaminess of the White Pumpkin. This little Christmas tree in Espresso. 
And this is interesting. It doesn't smell necessarily like straight up coffee like I expected it to. It almost has a creaminess, like frothed milk is in with it. Which makes me wonder, does she have like a cappuccino oil and does that also smell like frothed milk? It's yummy. And then the last sample, yes, that I have is in Lumberjack Contest, which is Leaves, Palo Santo, and Autumn Flannel. Danny, if you're watching this video, did you blend this? Because I feel like this is one of your scents. Leaves, Palo Santo, and Autumn Flannel. I know she loves Autumn Flannel. This is so good. You're immediately hit with the Palo Santo, immediately. It's so woody, so creamy, one of my favorites. And then leaves, the Bath & Body Works type is like mauled apple cider, but very rich apple forward. And I'm not getting much out of the autumn flannel, but I'm also a little congested and I'm not sure if that is like super cough or super like if it's the dupe for the Bath & Body Works flannel or if it's like super masculine, that's really yummy. So I just wanted to do that real quick so we can get into the clams. I believe I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I have 20 clams and one custom. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. All right, I think we're actually gonna start with my customs because I'm just so excited to get to melting this. So I didn't really know what I wanted to do for a custom. I wanted to smell a lot of her scents on their own, but I ended up deciding on 16 ounces of pumpkin pecan waffles, Palo Santo, and Marshmallow Fireside. I did not name it or anything like that, but I've had this blend from other vendors, but I wanted one that would actually throw for me, and I hear Kay's gives great throw. This is so good, and Lori Brown, I know you're watching, but it is definitely Palo Santo heavy. But you get that you get that pumpkin pecan waffles, so rich and it's so funny. And I know a lot of people are talking about this. Like you can't smell wax necessarily out of the bags. And I think the reason why it's like that is because it's been sitting in these bags closed for so long. You get the truest essence of the scent. Well, they all like decided to shift on me, um, smelling them in the bag. But, oh my gosh, it is so delicious and yummy. The pumpkin pecan waffles is rich. I, I messed that whole bag up. It's rich and it's creamy. But then the Palo Santo and the marshmallow fireside add the smokiness and this warmth to it. It's like eating, eating these delicious, rich, creamy waffles like on a fall day. But I could melt this scent all year long. So super excited to have a good amount of those. And now let's get into the clams. The first one that I have here is Pink Marshmallow World and it's Pink Sugar Marshmallow and Peppermint Stick. And I ordered this one. I ordered a lot of her Christmas scents because I don't have a ton of Christmas wax because, okay, full disclaimer, Christmas scents aren't always my favorite and I only melt them the month of like December. Like I'll, I'm starting to melt them now because it's Black Friday and things like that, but like after Christmas, I'm over. I'm ready for. I'm ready for different things. Like, I don't stock up on Christmas scents because I just don't warm them a ton. So, and I don't have a ton. And I figured I'll order some Christmas scents. And um, pink mar marshmallow didn't come back from Bath and Body Works. So, marshmallow. Ah, oh, peppermint marshmallow. This is so good. This is very very creamy mint, and that's probably from the marshmallow. But then you do get some sweetness from the pink sugar. It's very pink, it's very girly, it's very like gumdrop and pink cotton candy shaped pillows. Mmm, it is so yummy. Love that one. Sticking with the peppermint theme, I have peppermint stick and this one's really fun and like swirled and her wax like falls out of the clam. And this is straight up peppermint stick nothing else to it like straight up crisp cool peppermint now let me know you guys since i'm new to k's do you use one cube in a warmer two cubes in a warmer what type of warmers do you get performance from for k's i really would love some advice next i have gingerbread you can never go wrong with gingerbread i love gingerbread fragrances and this is very ginger heavy but not 
not like it's not done well because I don't get that like smell of ginger that like hurts my throat but it's spicy enough that it smells like an authentic gingerbread like you're making rich gingerbread cookies for Christmas and as I smell this a scent memory is coming to mind that's actually not mine. It's Charity. Um, she talked in her video when she talked about a gingerbread scent that her kids, because she doesn't like making gingerbread houses and neither do I, that she got these giant gingerbread men shaped cookie cutouts and she actually makes those for her kids. And for some reason when I smell this, I think about Charity and all of her kids and her beautiful family making gingerbread cookies on Christmas. So that's a scent memory I have with that scent that isn't even mine. Next I have Hansel and Gretel. I don't believe I have the scent description. I think it's like a gingerbread and like creaminess. Because I do pick up on gingerbread, that same gingerbread scent, but I get a really creamy vanilla to it too. It's 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 very bakery heavy, but it's it's super yummy, so I'm excited about that one. Next I have Jack Frost, and Jack Frost, from what I remember, is the Yankee Candle dupe, and it is. And it's peppermint, but it's mixed with, like, fresh air, which makes it feel cool. Like, I'm smelling this, and I want to put on a winter jacket. It smells so cool, which I'm not complaining. I love it. And Yankee Candles don't throw, so having a scent that actually throws will be amazing. Next, Sugar Cookie Crunch. I was excited about this one because I love the scent of sugar cookies, but it needs something more. Okay, so this smells like Let the Good Times Roll from, from Lush. If you know that cleanser, it's a face wash that smells like buttery popcorn cookies. It's exactly what this smells like. Not nearly as strong, because I remember whenever that Lush scent it was one of the Lush cleansers that's like a rolled cleanser in a black pot. When you open the lid, you could instantly smell it. I smell that, but it's not that intense. It is. It's like a buttery cookie with just a hint of like a kettle corn type of scent. Really like that. And then sticking with yumminess, we have Cup O' Kringle, and this is Mint Chocolate Chip Espresso and Vanilla Sugar Waffle Cone. I think this sounds very interesting. And it is, because, like, Mint Chocolate Chip Ice Cream mixed with Espresso? Interesting. Oh, it's so, it's so good, though. It's different. Because you're immediately greeted with that Mint Chocolate Chip, and I don't know if it's because the wax is that color, but... You get the mint chocolate chip ice cream, like that really cold, creamy mint, and dark chocolate, not milk chocolate, because it's not super sweet. And then the espresso just wakes you up when you smell it. It's so different. I'm not picking up on much waffle cone, but I feel like that's a more of a blender fragrance in this. It's really yummy. Then we have Applewood Fur Needle. This is pretty red color. I don't like this. I don't like Fur Needle. It's very Christmassy. And the Fur Needle fragrance is almost like very bitter to me is kind of the vibe that I get from it. I don't know why, but it smells kind of bitter. I'm not a fan. And then we have Kevin, which is from Home Alone. And this is Jack Frost Sugar Cookie Crunch and Mac Apple. <sighs> Crazy. I smell that sugar cookie crunch, definitely. Now that I smelled it on its own, I'm glad I ordered that with this. Because I do get that like buttery cookie. Mac Apple is in here, and I love the scent of Mac Apple. I have to order her Mac Apple on its own. And then Jack Frost adds that mintiness really really cool again a different combination her combos are really really cool white birch i ordered white birch because i love yep and this smells exactly like it like the homeworks candle in the white birch which people either love or they hate i happen to love it because it smells to me like a very expensive gallery like a very expensive art gallery that you're walking in 
and the wood floors, they must be birch, but it just smells like this really fancy art gallery. I don't know why. That's what I get. Hazelnut coffee. I ordered, this was the only coffee scent I ordered, but I need to get more coffee in my life because I love it. This sounds so funny, but it smells like that like cheap coffee mate hazelnut creamer and coffee. Which there's nothing wrong with that because half the time that's the best. I'm not the biggest fan of drinking hazelnut coffee, but I do like the scent of it. That's a good one. Next I have sugared spruce, and I love sugared spruce. This one doesn't come out. And I love this, and I talk about it every time I smell sugared spruce. My friend Deb talks about how it kind of smells like cotton candy because it's so sweet mixed with a Christmas tree. So every time I smell sugared spruce, that's the memory I'm instantly greeted with is it smells like a Christmas tree mixed with cotton candy. Next, I have apple fireside, Macintosh apple, Palo Santo, and marshmallow fireside. Now this one, I need more of. So good. I will say Palo Santo is not not the dominant note in here. It's definitely Mac Apple. But the more you smell it, and you get like a little bit of gold mica, the more you smell it, the more you pick up on the Palo Santo. So you're immediately greeted with Mac Apple and Marshmallow Fireside, that roasty, toasty marshmallow. This is one of the very few Marshmallow Fireside blends that I actually pick up on the marshmallow fireside because I mainly get oh it's so good I mainly get Mac Apple and marshmallow fireside and then as you continue to smell it that Palo Santo really comes out and livens it up then we have sugar frosted plum so kind of like a gum drop gum uh, sugar what is it dancing sugar plums and it's different than anything else. It's very candy-like. Almost like a candy, I guess a candy plum. It's very sweet and sugary. Very sweet and sugary. That's all I'm really getting from it. It's like sweet and sugary, yummy goodness. I'm going right through these. Cracklin' Fire. fire. Ah, this is another one I'm not a super big fan of. To me, it almost smells like a watery men's cologne. Like if a man was wearing a cologne scented like water. Like, I hate to say ocean, but like ocean. And I don't know, my nose is like going rogue here, but that's all I smell here. And these have been here for a while. That's all I can smell is like a watery men's cologne. Christmas cactus. I'm not sure if this is a dupe for the Scentsy scent, but... I do love that one. It's not. It's definitely... Christmas cactus is always interesting to me because cactus don't really have a smell. It's very sweet and for some reason I think aloe when I think of cactus. And I can kind of get like a, an aloe vera note, like a very green, wet, sappy fragrance. Yeah, that's all I really get from it. I don't get like any Christmas tree or anything. It's like a very like sappy green aloe vera plant. Fraser Fur, I believe this is a dupe for the Times fragrance, and it is. It's like the best holiday tree scent ever. And I'm not the biggest fan of tree scents, but this one I need to have all going through December because it is the best Christmas tree scent. Fraser fur. It's it's so good. I don't know how they did it so well. And then we have Through the Woods. And this is Fraser fur, sugar cookie, and peppermint stick. So like Okay, so I immediately smell peppermint stick and sugar cookie. And for like I say immediately and I say all of them. I smell them all equally. Like I pick up on Fraser fur. I pick up on sugar cookie. And I pick up on peppermint stick. Crazy. I literally smell it all in here. So good. So creamy, rich, bright from the peppermint stick, earthy from the Fraser fur. Really good. And it, like, through the woods, really makes it sound like that. 
Peppermint Marshmallow. This one is the dupe for the Bath & Body Works, I believe. Yep, super sweet peppermint. I almost pick up on a little chocolate note. Maybe if it was sitting next to something in the box, but I didn't order anything chocolate. But, hmm. It is like a creamy, like a marshmallow fluff fragrance. And then sweetness from the peppermint. Always a good choice. And then last but not least is pine cones. And pine cones, it's so interesting. I kind of, is it lime that I smell? Maybe not, but for some reason I like, my brain is registering lime in it, but it's very zesty. Not super woody like I was expecting. I mean, I don't know if pine cones themselves really have a fragrance. At least I've never smelled it. Interesting. Not really sure. Have you guys tried pine cone? Does it develop more on warm or do you mix it with things? Because it just smells like, like a very bright lime. Interesting. All right. Well, that was my case haul. I'm super excited to get to melt them. Like I said, this is no, no, nothing against Carla or anything. I just, her wax is kind of boring to me. Um, but I know that her scents are really spectacular from what I hear. So that's why I wanted to order and give them a chance. So let me know again, what warmers do you use? How much do you use performance wise, cure time wise, etc. Leave them all down below. But Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell in the corner. That way you're alerted every time I upload here on YouTube. I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday shopping. Be kind to everyone, especially now. The staff shortage is extremely real. So get vaccinated, wear a mask, so we can get people to work. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you.